Alright everyone, let's get back into Brigadine. Let's do some more of this tonight. And uh, yeah, had a little vacation, been away for a little while. So we'll get back into putting up videos and all that. But um, what we have here is my Jew and Theodora and Brendan team here. So we'll see what they can do. Hopefully they can do something well. Let's let them uh, kick off the, the football here. Yes. But yeah, welcome back everybody. Thank you for uh, everything you've done so far on uh, Twitch and YouTube. Do appreciate all that. Um, we are growing a little bit bigger, little by little every day, all the time. And I can see that this game still has a lot of love in it. After all these years. And this game, actually, right now, technically, we're getting almost to, uh... We're gonna be getting up to the anniversary of this game in particular. But the older Brigadine games are 20 years old and all that, as you probably know. So, the way that I'm playing this, if you're new to this particular LP, I'm waiting for turn 5 to hit, and then I'm going to take over from that. So it could be pretty bad if they just get stuck on the bridge and they don't really do anything. Um, wow, that guy's powerful. But yeah, this could be pretty... <laughs> I could lose most of my healers. This is sort of a challenge for me, in a way. I'm just seeing if you know I can make a good enough team that can handle whatever they throw at me, so that's a part of that, too. But unfortunately, sometimes like the leaders and the monsters and all that, they'll send out the unicorns, frontline unicorns. Uh, it can be pretty bad. It can be pretty brutal, just to be honest. It can be. Eagly! Okay, turn three. She's not really in the greatest position here. They're going to use my unicorns in really bad ways. This is really terrible. She has no defense in front. Oh, this could be really, really bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can you get something in front? So anything? Anything at all? Yes. And you know what I forgot about? That actually hurts your own guys. I keep forgetting a thousand arrows will hurt your own team. Oh man, Jews right in the front line too. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 Okay, thank you for hitting something else instead. Oh no! Oh, oh good. This is really dangerous. <laughs> this is not how you're supposed to set up an army. The AI does try to set up somewhat, but sometimes they just forget. They're like, oh, oops! We have a big hole over there. You know? And then we put our unicorns in the front lines. See, this is a part of the challenge. It's, I'm probably not going to have a lot of, like, really good... I might have some good high level monsters at the end if I get some revival stones, you know, and some monsters get a level up to 30. I might be able to have a decent team, but gear is going to be kind of hard to, to hold, come by. Because if they keep killing a monster, well, maybe not, maybe not. Gear might not be that hard. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. But this is, oh, this is hard to watch in a way. It's just frontlining your, your, your sorceress there. It's turn four, so I gotta wait till next turn. I can't even do anything this turn. She's just gonna have to take a hit. I hope she doesn't take too big of a hit. This is, uh... We, we kind of need her to, um... It, 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 you know, like, that, that makes no sense right there. Like, why? Now, he's lined up to... 
Okay, so they kind of did block a little tiny bit, not not too much, but just you know, a little bit. Oh, thank you. Oh, she's she's gonna need that. She was definitely gonna need that. Whoa, he is pretty low. Thunderstruck! Yeah, <laughs> boom <laughs> for justice. Yes. How you doing, man? How's it going, Ice Hero? Yes, for justice. For justice! <laughs> that's uh, that's what tonight's all about. It's all about justice, you know? All about that justice. Hey, thanks for being here, guys. Uh, and and there, there goes our... There goes our nightmare. Our, our fully trained nightmare is dead. Stick tap with 38. It did 38 on a clay golem. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? I can't believe Ju survived that. She was about to be hit by a Viking. She got hit by a snake. She could have been. She could have been destroyed. Completely destroyed. Super easily too. Frontlining mages is not a good idea. It's never a good idea. Ever, never, never. Witches. Sometimes I don't know if you got if if you're in the right position like if you can only get hit like right from here, and you're gonna pop a meteor doom, that's something a lot of players actually do and uh, might be okay. But uh, yeah, other than that, look at this guy. He's he's way back here. I I don't get why these guys like hang out in the back. They hardly ever get get up there. I know they got slow movement and stuff, but then they like. If you let the AI do it, they just keep throwing rocks all day. They just they throw rocks. At, do get up there and, and do a punch. Rock throw is like the least accurate thing they have. Um, all right. So what are we gonna do here? We got one, two, three. I think we need to do a heal here. But how's it going today, Hero and uh, Carrot? Uh, we're gonna be doing this for a bit tonight. Yeah. Got to get our dragon healed up. I think she's actually okay because of the situation, everything that happened. If the unicorn doesn't move, there's not a lot that's really going to be able to attack her. So she's actually okay right there. Well, I mean, there is this thing, so we'll try to kill this thing here. Oh, wait. No, that's mine. What am I saying? <laughs> I've been playing too much Morelva. <laughs> I've been playing Morelva too much. I'm like, Orange is my side. No, wait. We're playing Morel. We're playing Norzalio tonight. Oh, that's right. Okay, um, what are we going to take out here? Let's, uh, well, we can't really reach this guy too much. It is level 6, it'd be nice to kill, but this, this team can't. That's level 4, I don't really care about that. I guess we'll just do a basic Geno, you know? I already had my curry and martina today. Time for some justice. That sounds fantastic. Do I have a... Oh, that's right. Ah... The old Grand Edition gets me all confused. I, Geno Frost, yeah, we got that. No, 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 we don't. We do not have Geno Frost. Should I level her up? She's level 27. What proficiencies do we have? We got three, two more levels to go, and then we're pretty much maxed, and we could also get that extra level. That would be juicy. I think we should do it. Fire breath, no, not that way, dummy. Not that way, dummy. We need to go this way. I'm not concerned about that one. I'm concerned about this one here. We need to make sure that one's dead. Yeah, no, not quite, not quite the martini yet for me, man. We'll, we'll get there. Not quite yet. Aww. Could get that kill. Could not get that kill. All right, what is Theodora at? We're dealing with. We're doing with a sniper, level 26, that's good. I'd like to max her out. I think that'd be good to do. Yes. Uh, 
We're just straight up going for this kill here. Sure, let's do it. That's a thousand experience, I like it. Heals. Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? What else is there to heal? I'll just do something just for fun. Let's, uh... Well, he's kind of weak to the fire spells. In case they stay, pop a resist here. This is probably the best way to do it. Um, I think I'll just do it the, some basic stuff here. Just a thunder attack, take out the dragon, take out the snake, whatever. Bing bada boom, and done. Alright, good. Alright, I think we'll give this little dragon a heal too. Uh, okay, do this one, whatever. I think they, they all could use a heal, honestly. We're going to be losing a lot of unicorns here today, everybody, if you're tuning in. They'll probably run out to the front and unicorn tank, best tank, kind of BS. That, that typically happens in the game. You're probably going to see a lot of that, just saying. So, just, just kind of get used to it, I guess, if you can. <laughs> if you even can, you know. I know it's it's a, it's, it's heart wrenching to watch that because you're like I just built that guy up from scratch and now uh, he's dead. Just do some monster kills here. There's really they have nothing left. I I could go for leader kills, but I I want to try to burn up some of this army here. Monsters monsters don't come back unless they have a a, a revival stone. Leaders always come back. So, what I found out too, if you if you play some leaders too much, let's say you're playing against Rudo, you fight Rudo all the time, you keep attacking Rudo, Rudo counterattacks, you can level Rudo up to 30. If you just take down his army, you don't really have to like he he won't level up, and there's a chance you might keep him low if you don't if you don't include him in the fight. Especially if he's you know if he's playing defense, he plays castle defense. So just sit on that castle till he's the last guy there. And then once he, there's nothing else to do, he'll just up and leave. Uh, so sometimes you can just completely avoid uh, leveling up certain leaders that you don't want to fight against, like Rudo. That's one thing that I would probably recommend if you want to try that. Um, but yeah, I did a workout this morning. Some sit-ups, punching, kicking, and kicking a tree. Wow. Some bicep curls, 40-pound, and then some triangle push-ups. That's pretty cool, dude. You gotta have you gotta have that uh, exercise routine. That's very important. Okay, so we didn't lose anybody on this uh, triangular defensive attack here, which is good. Okay, we're gonna watch. Are we gonna watch this battle, or did I actually turn it off? I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna watch this battle. Yay! <laughs> let's watch. Let's watch an AI battle. We don't see this too much. I like to watch them just to keep them fair and clean because I don't know if there's a different algorithm to where we don't see the battle and they just randomly kill off some monsters versus watching battles like this because battles like this, a lot of monsters can die and it'd be nice to know which ones survived and which ones didn't because I'd like, I'd like their team's titan to die, I'd like the hairy fairy to die, you know. Uh, no, I watch I'd like both of their sides armies <laughs> army guys to die. And I kinda wanna see it. They have some mountain stuff here, so it looks like the 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 defense might be a little bit better. Honestly the defense kinda really does look a lot better. I, d I didn't really look at the CP too quick. I was I was thinking about this, but it, it, to me it looks like the CP value should probably go to Morelva here. It kind of looks like that, especially with a Titan and a Do and some of that stuff there. I don't see anything really all that worthwhile on Mana Celestia's team here. I really don't. Could I 
Yeah, yeah, guys, you gotta get an exercise routine. It's a good thing. It's a very good thing. If I don't, if I don't get a lot of exercise, at least I get like a long walk or do some like nature walks and things like that. You know, or basically a hike. I go, I go hiking a lot. Um, but it's always good to to stay active. Your muscles atrophy if you don't use them. If you didn't know it. That's the case. It happens to everybody. I don't know who's what bets you have on, but my bet is on Morel the Bell's one. I think that Tiger is gonna help him get the win. I, I don't see a lot of healers on the team, but I see a lot of tanky strength here. And unless the leaders are getting bombed with divine rays, I, I, I got a feeling that Morel is gonna pull off a win here. There's one down. <laughs> oh, there's more Elva down. Lionel's on more Elva. Wow. <laughs> I think that means retreat. <laughs> well, that was fast. That was easy. I want to get this into an emote, what he says right there. Stay with me and you won't lose. <laughs> I'm going to get that as emote for him. <laughs> Stay with me and you won't lose. <laughs> oh, man. Take a kill! Take a kill! <laughs> Maybe we could get that as emote, too. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I... I yeah, definitely with the CP there. I was like, yeah, you got you got a giant titan on your team that's that's gonna destroy the enemy team. I, I think they're just trying to find a way to win, trying to find a way to turn things around. You know, put it in their favor and all that. All right, do we got? Ooh, what's this all about? All right, is this a whole other thing here? Oh, if it is, all right. She's either chanting a spell or losing her mind. Sorry about that.我らノーザリオの行く末をお祈りしてますのじゃ。もちろん、そなたは我が国の最高位の神官。そなたがこの遠征に参加してくれたことは誠に心強く思っておるが、ブレッシングインポで苦労を預かる将軍としては、心苦しく思っておる。心配無用ですじゃ。グラド将軍。わしもそなたも全てはルビーの四星王子のため。王子のためならこの老体も魂も捧げる覚悟。いかがかな。その通りじゃ。王子もこの遠征で随分成長なされ
まあ、深くにも失礼つかまつった良いではありませんか将軍将軍がこんなバーの前で泣くことができず一体どこで泣けるというのですルビーの賛成をあれほど部下のみならず国民からも慕われ愛された王がかつていらしただろうかまったくだだからこそルビーの王子が賛成王にとって変われる王となってくれる日まで我らがしっかりと支えようではありませぬかうんだがその日もおそらくは近いとなんと<笑>王子の母親代わりでもあるジュードのには王子はまだまだ子供のように映っておられるようだがどうしてどうしてというと我が国きってのルーンの騎士のそなたから見て王子はうんわしはいつ四世王を名乗ってもよいのではないかとうんでは、あとは、王子のお自覚次第というわけですな。いかにも。Indeed。賛成王も、さぞかしお喜びのことじゃろうって。Hey, we finally get the crowning here. That's pretty good. That's a good achievement. 王子、ガイムール共和国が滅亡しましたぞ。ザイヤの騎士となった者が仕官してまいりました。フェイト申す。この私をもってしても及ばなかった。あなた方の劣化のごとき信仰、大したものだった。私こそが真の求道者。並ぶものなどないと考えていた。Oh, cool. We got this guy. とんだうぬぼれであったのかもしれないな。乱世とは、かくも面白いものだ。身をもって見識の狭さを教えてくれる。さて、おこがましいのは承知の上だ。この大陸の波動を突き進む、私を超える求道者たるあなたから、教えを超いたい。我が武道論も、惜しみなく伝授しようではないか。どうか、よろしく頼む。先生術師の大星星の導きのままにでも、oh, got Diana, our team? Oh, good, 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 good. 何の裏それならば最後まで足でまといとならぬよう叩く、うん、Now we get a lot of people on our team actually それとも単にいいだろう Got Augustus This will be some good questers. Okay, got three knights here. What was I doing? All right, it's been two weeks. <laughs> it's been a week or so. Uh, let's see what we have to do here. So we've got... He's training grounds. We're still getting him up there. I think once he's fully, like, into the next tier, we can do a lot more stuff. He'll be a little more viable to actually put out in the front lines and fight. Uh, for now, we'll just training grounds him until, you know, he's pretty much ready to go. Uh, let's see. Hidden treasure. Hidden treasure. Uh, let's see. I kind of like, uh, what we're going to do with this. I don't know. Okay, so we got a, a grappler, rogue, and a sorcerer here. Let's um, yeah, let's see for a second. What should we do? Let's check out the map first because that's important. 
All right, so this part up here, I'm gonna be kind of going back and forth over there. We're gonna be bumping around back and forth there, just playing defense, I think, until this other team can push forward. And I think we're close to being able to do that. We need one team to go in Shinobi, and I think that's this assault team that we had here. So I think this team's gonna go into there. Uh, Yeah, so we got that team moving in here. We've got this other team just kind of sitting over here. Not really do wait, where's Grados' team? Oh, so Grados came over. Okay, so Grados is here. We need to fill him up. We need to move him over over here somewhere. He's gotta play defense in this position here. Um uh, we're gonna need that team. I don't know what to do with it. I think I was going to play some D over here, but this one went all over the place. All right. So I've got one, two, three, four. I might have to play, oh, I don't know. I might have to just give up some of these castles here just to uh, play some defense for a second. I could build another team, but I already have some members I do like. And uh, do we have some injured knights here? I think we probably... Do we have a whole other... Oh, no, no, no. You were just going to flip-flop with them. That's what you were going to do. Okay, so that's that's the point here. All right, let's do... Let's do the class here. I think that's good enough. Okay. So this is going to be a strange team. I guess we're going to work... We're going to work on leveling a pick. He's going to go into the Shinobi territory. Hopefully he'll be okay. Hopefully, um, seriously, hopefully he'll be okay. But if not, then uh, she's going to kind of take over for him. And that's, I guess it's how we're going to just, that's how we're going to do it. Uh, I don't, I can't think of any other way to do it. Um, but, yeah. Alright, I'm going to class this up because they're going to be a little better in this terrain than other terrains, especially with Thunderbolt attacks and being defensive against green attacks and stuff. I think she'll be kind of okay with that. Alright, so that team looks pretty good. I think that's pretty good. We're going to need... Yeah, they're going to have to come back up here and play a little bit of defense over here because I don't really have... I could try building a new team, but it's not as well built up as some of the other ones, so... We'll just do concentrated teams, so four concentrated teams so far. I'd like to get uh, Jack's team out somewhere. I really haven't been able to do much with him at all. So he's just been sitting back there, not really doing much in the back. be nice to actually have him do something here. Uh, maybe he could move up and play some defense, but I don't know. Um, yeah, maybe he could do that. Just maybe he could do that. I got what kind of points do we need to use here? So you got 39, 127. What does this do? Eighty-four. Okay, forty-six. And I don't like to change any of that right now. Okay, so 45 and 125 here. Maybe I will put the other team on defense somewhere. What did I say? 45 and 125? This, I think this works out just great. Well, that is the crappiest Golem I've ever gotten. But I guess we'll use them. 125, that'd be 160. That's too much. 8, 9. One of these and one of these. All right, so we got this team here. Grado's team has to move, and this team has to move. So maybe we could crisscross them with the Jack's team somewhere, because Jack's team would be good to level up, honestly. Uh, because he's just been kind of sitting in the back, not really doing a whole lot so far. So I'd like to... 
I'd like to get something out of that, you know? All right, as far as cross class goes, Sniper, Enchantress, Paladin, you guys are set here. Okay, 17, 17, 78. Got 1800 team here. This is a very powerful team that we built up here. This team, what is this one? 1800. This is very powerful too. This is only 1400. This isn't a very powerful team. But we have to put it somewhere and we have to get it levels pretty much right now. I could send them in here. Maybe we should do, maybe we should just do a dual salt and just get it done. It's not a very good defense that they have. Probably considering that we're kind of slaughtering their main forces in the front here uh, pretty badly. But if if we got to go on, if we got to go on offense, I got to know what we got for a team here. This is mostly blue. This just isn't going to work. It's not going to work. We need to send them somewhere else. Let's send them over here to Garwin. I think that'd be a good defensive spot. All right, so we'll send them over there. If they have to play defense, that's fine. Because they because playing defense on a water defensive map, perfect. That'll be perfect for them. Okay, and then one of those two teams, either Grados or or the or Jews team. Um, I think Kratos is going to push forward here. Brynn is going to play defense for a little bit. And Kratos has to come forward to some place, but where? Where, where, where? I think we're just going to have to play defense down here. I don't know. I don't know what else to do with, with the dude. Oh my gosh, we got so many things level up here. Okay, what are we gonna do? Gratus' team is gonna be pretty powerful, guys. <laughs> pretty powerful here. But that's okay. I'd like to. I'd like to get one main powerful team if we can. That'd be perfect. Oh, we're going up to Lich. Oh, that's right. Oh my gosh. Where my gosh? Let's put you. No, not you. Not you. You. You here. You too. Okay, we'll see how long this Lich will survive. Probably not very long. Uh, what are you, Rogue? Rogue? Could be a Max Cell Lancer if you want. Alright, we're gonna let her level up as a Rogue for a little bit, because she's pretty much... This This is the final tier here. And Ariana, you can definitely do that. Alright, got Dancer type here. We'll get Rogue. It's only one... She's she's got to get a, a couple leader kills and then she'll be there, and then we'll we'll have the back and away temple knight thing here going on. So that'll be cool. Do I know that, Do I want some more squish? Not really. Can we get a mermaid here? Maybe if we can flip for a mermaid, that would be perfect. Forty-five. I'm not seeing anything that. Got 85, 55. We'll give you, give you a unicorn. Let's see if we get any. Nope, nothing like that. All right, we'll just put it back because I don't. I'd like her to have a healer of some kind. Would be good. All right, let's check out the class here. We've got. Efficiency as a healer. Maybe she should go back to whatever she was doing. Um, all right, enchantress, sorceress. All 
Or should I just leave it that way? I got two main fighters here, so I might need someone more dedicated for healing. So maybe we'll keep her like this. Uh, yeah. I mean, she'll get the Vine Ray, which is pretty strong. Anyways. And she does have a Frost Spell, I believe, so... Or does she? Let's double check. Okay, she does have Frost Spell. She does have a three range attack. That's good. I'm cool with that. All right, so that team's going there. This team's coming to come over here. This team I just reorganized. This team I just redid here. Just one final double check here because I think there might be some stats I didn't get to look at. We've got a sniper. We've got Enchantress. That's fine. That's fine. That looks great. Looks good. Looks fine. Let's do some manage items here. Power pill. Nah, we'll put this up later. Glory Mana Stone. Who should have that? Hmm. You know, I think Elena probably should have some red defense here. That might be a good idea. Um, okay, good enough for me. Did I miss anything? Oh yeah, that's right. We got to do some questing, don't we? Move the grappler down here. It's one of the best places for questing for that. Move sorcerer over here. Move the rogue. I think we have to go questing here. I think this is the location right there. Is you can do Garland or Gallist for... Yeah, I think that's where we need to go. Okay, let's look at our Assault team here. Got red defense and green. That's good for us, actually. Unless we're fighting a blue. I mean, ideally, we'd like to get his defense up here, but there's not a lot of reds in this territory here, so Pick's not going to have to worry too much about that. And, yeah, if everything goes to hell, I guess we'll use Sylvia instead, but <laughs> hopefully it doesn't. <laughs> hopefully it doesn't. Oh, no. All right, so I think that looks pretty good. I think we're ready to go. Let's go hit the execute button here, and I think we should be good to go. Just do this. Okay, I think I have it set right. I hope I do. I, I, you were watching earlier, so I think I did it right. All right, let's do this. I like to double check, typically, especially when I'm looking at all these arrows. It's like, wait, did I do it right? I hope I did. Oh no. Ooh, 1400 to what, 17? Oh, oh, that's because that, that team there. All right, well, we got this team to go in an assault, so this team is definitely gonna go on a fight. They're going to go in there if I lose some blue snakes, or I lose some snakes along the way because they're not meant to be in there, then I guess I do. But I kind of have to use what I've got. Um, we could lose some of these castles here, but I was just trying to expand and get my territory a little bigger. Once Shinobi's gone, then everything's going to start to come together. Everything's going to come together because I'll be able to move out that way and I'll be able to hold this whole... Um, this whole western front. Uh, this game with Brigadina really comes down to you holding the eastern or the western front. You could try north and south, but I find that to be really, really um, 
In some cases you have to, but it seems to be the best way. Once you hold the west or the or the east, you can really make a lot of progress. And you can just start to push with four teams and, mm -hmm. and pretty much be good to go, you know? All right, so we got that one tack, and I think that probably is about it, right? I don't think there's anything else we can do. So what we're going to do here is we're going to play defense here. I'm just going to have this team attack back and forth whenever Belfram is taken over. And uh, that will also give me some levels as well as a lot of experience too. And then this team, if this team looks clean enough to move in, like let's say... Okay, well, this th actually this was kind of set up for that too. So the only thing we got that could die in there pretty easily is our siren because it could get shot down by an archer or something. Um, and the snake. But this could be a good team to insult, to assault in there too. There. We could finish things up a little quicker with that. So maybe we'll have them assault also. But they just moved there. So this is all we got to go. Let's go ahead and save it up and let's do it. Let's do a fight. All right, good. Good, good, good. End the phase. Ending it. I hope we do well. I'm. They have everything till turn five, so I can't guarantee anything at all. I really can't. <laughs> I hope they do. I hope they can do it, you know? It's, oh, it's going to be a bit of a struggle. Okay, so who should lead the charge? I think Shizzler should. I think Elena should be on this side. I think Pick should be on the outside. I don't want Pick, bit, you know, get, getting too getting too tackled. Minanoshu,それぞれの役を存分に演じきってくだされ力ば。what he said. Okay, we are off to the races. We are off to the races. Oh, and if you didn't know, after this we're going to be doing uh, some grand edition as well, so if you're a sub, you get to have a lot of freedoms with choosing a lot of stuff. If you're a follower, you get to name monsters. So you can name as many monsters as you want. Oh, look at this, they're coming out to us. They're not going to stay in castle defense. They are not afraid of us. They are definitely not afraid of us. Unless they're just reorganizing, it looks like they're coming at us. I don't know. I, I wouldn't put it past them, honestly. I really wouldn't. Oh, they're, they're in. And my hairy fairy is gone full squish and died. Kind of want to see this a little bit. みんな。私についてきて。相手の考えを先読みすべきね。Looks like the battle's on. Turn four. I hope they can kill off that. That giant griffin there. Yeah, yeah. Try to do poison on the phoenix. Perfect. I really hope we can take down this this griffin here. I want this thing dead. Oh, pick is in a, pick is in a pickle, pick is in a pickle. Oh, they just paralyzed him too. Oh no!
Pick is exposed. We have to protect that guy. We have to protect that little dude there. You been Thunderstruck. Thunderstruck. Yeah. Oh, good, 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 good. Not that necessary, but all right. Oh no! Why? Why? Why did you go over there? Why did you walk over there? Very cool. Oh, just just don't move. Just just do stuff right now, man. Just just do stuff. Just do bolt attacks. Good stuff. Not what I was looking for. Pick is in a, a seriously, a seriously bad, dangerous, and every time a rock throw. Why don't you reposition so you can actually hit something? Like this guy. This guy did a good job. Seriously considering not building any more golems because of because that mandrakes and golems both do the same thing on auto. They just sit there and they just throw needles or they rock throw all day. With, with very little accuracy. They'll they'll continuously do it. Well, at least he got a paralyze on me. Okay, turn five. I get to do stuff. Great. Oh no! My poor little... Okay, here we go. This is good. This is good. Shizzler, you are gonna get a level, bro. You are gonna get a level, bro. I'm gonna eat shit's cake over here. So we don't get any on Gratos. Just enough. No, not that thing. This thing. Yay! <laughs> uh, should we do an airy heal, maybe? Maybe we should get set up for an airy heal. Or... Well, that's not going to really work on him, is it? You know what? This is the stronger move. Flame attack all the way down the line. Or do this. I don't know. What's, what's the turn rate here? We could probably kill a phoenix. Which would be beneficial to us? Considering... I'd like to hit the dragon, but you know what? I think we need to kill the phoenix right now. I also have things that are weak to the weak to fire here, or um, especially this archer here. I, I, well, not so much anymore, but I don't know. I'd rather just get rid of the phoenix right now. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Very good, very good. Okay, I'm uh and she's just archer status right now. Wait, did we not class her? Or or maybe her proficiency is not high enough. Okay, let's look at where we could go. Nope.
Okay, we got one more bolt attack. Oh, we had to get purple candies. I didn't think we would get that. I did not think that, that that would even happen. Perfect. Just what we need to do. That dies. I'm um, okay with that. Don't want it to, but you know. We got two more of these things incoming here too. We got blue versus green. That's not very good for me. You're level 19 too. I don't want to lose you right now. I really don't. That's just gonna stand by there. I don't know what do you think, nice hero. What do you think, Carrot? Do we, do we stand a good chance? Oh, 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 that that hurt. That 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 hurt a lot. That hurt quite a lot. This guy's out, so just go fly a kite over there, I guess. Uh, heal ourselves or heal someone else? Do we have extra heals? We are we are tapped out. We are definitely tapped out. We are... Oh, no. This is not good. This is definitely not good. Alright, well... I'm going to go after what I know we can kill, so let's just focus that now, okay? Let's just focus that for now. Making some tea? Alright, cool, man. I, I was going to heal up the, the golem and all that, and... She just did Fatal Darkness on Shizzler and got a big hit on him. So I had to heal up. So I had to choose who to heal. It's going to be this. It's going to be Shizzler. They got me good, man. They got me really good. No one's behind you either. I'm gonna try to take this thing down. I think we have a good chance to. Oh, that sucks. All right, I cannot do thunder. I think the best course of action right now is pop a couple protect spells, make everybody a little less killable. Okay. Giga shot. That's what I uh, can we level her up? What what is her proficiency right now? I gotta know. Okay, so she's four. So she just needs a kill, and then she is proficient. She can be a sniper, which would be great for us. Honestly, honestly, that would be good. Let's curse this thing away. I don't know if we can get a total kill off this. But... No, no, we can't. Not a kill. Don't waste the MP. Use the MP somewhere else. We're gonna get a little bit closer. Try to get lined up for something here. I'm not even sure, really. I, the, this is, looks like a really difficult battle, believe it or not. Alright, so we're at level 19. We could go a little bit over leveled here, I think, with pick. I think it'd be okay. We haven't really been able to do much at all, anyways. Flick silence in all enemies in three hex radius. So, it depends if they're chained or not. This actually is pretty cool. I don't. I haven't really used Vox Dome too much. Believe it or not, I really haven't. Uh, let's just get a kill here. Get that thing out of the way. That's gonna be a, a problem. Okay, so we've got. We have probably a couple heals here. I hope. 
Yes, we have two heals. Oh, that's perfect. We need to heal you up right now. I don't know who to hit, honestly. I could go for these things. They probably still have like all their magic left too. 98, 100, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't, well, he has a cleanse. That's still another heal there. I can't really take down a lot of monsters. I can't really do much with him. He's he's kind of weak to all this stuff. He's level 19 too. He's not going to be able to do a lot. He's he's more of a liability than he is a, a help at this point. I'm going to put him back here. You're just going to have to stay in front, bro, and uh, I don't know, throw rocks or... See, look at this. 1% accuracy down to 0%. And if I let him auto this, he would do this all day long. Even with 0% accuracy. He'll just be like... YOLO, you know, he'll, he'll try it. Um, let's just try to kill some monsters here. I guess we'll try this here. Okay, turn seven. We got to make some progress, though. Oh my gosh, you petrified that thing. What are we going to do? <laughs> what are we going to do? I'm to do I got a heal. I've got. <laughs> what are we going to do? I could Dragon Breath. Did you line up for a. Okay. We kind of lined up a little bit here. Let's do this. Got a free one. Let's burn them down. So he doesn't go for, you know... He, he'll heal up his own team here uh, a bit, so this is... He's going to give this a try here. Red Dragon will probably take down the rest of this. Protect on whom? Good. <laughs> Hmm. I'd like to take this stuff down if I can. It would be it would be very very good for me. Just trying to think about who's gonna be able to hit him the most if I try for that or if I go for her. Maybe we'll try taking this thing down here. Maybe I will burn up some of my own own MP. Uh And I don't really need to get closer, do I? Oh, you're kidding me, dude! You made me dimension him one space back? Come on, I call BS on that. I dimension this guy and he moves back one tiny space? I've never seen that before in my life. I've never seen a dimension spell go one space back. Oh my gosh, come on. Come on. I needed him out of the way so I could get around Talia a little bit. He's just gonna walk right back. We need to get you 
We need to get you into the danger zone, bro. The danger zone. Last heal of the day. I'm just gonna do a cure. We need the bird back alive. We just we just do. <laughs> You really want to do it? Okay. 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 We'll play that game. You can play that game. I can get over there. Mm. 60%. I don't know. Yes! We got a hit. Yes. Okay, good. Oh, boy. This will work out. This will work out. Alright, just wait there. There we go. Okay, this is working out. This is working out my favor here. This is good. This is very good. All right, throw a rock over here. I'm gonna take her out. I'm not gonna deal with this anymore. Oh man, that's not. That is barely okay stats actually. Okay, we gotta hope that this rock throw will work. That did not work. Did he use any of his spells yet? Pick got a kill with a thunder spell. Nice. We got the victory. That was a little tough. That was a little tough. Kind of, kind of good thing she kind of came out to us in that, that way. They had some good stuff they tacked onto us. They tacked poison on my dark dragon, which drained it down pretty low. Uh, 
stoned the phoenix did a super crit move with an assassin on Shizzler. took him down near to death uh, they they had really they had a really good defense set up there all right let's move on from here move on to well i don't think we have another battle here but uh we'll see what happens here I, oh, Elena is now a full-on uh, sniper now. So she's uh, fully maxed out. We can put her in a sniper status here. It'd be good. We have an extra knight. Check that out. Nice. Nice. Let's do it. What is this? Maximilian. Interesting. Oh, Maximilian. Of course, that's right. Look at Cheyenne. I never really used her very much. I don't... I don't know if she's that good. Every, almost every time I get her, I'm just already sending her out on quest. Now let's fight. Wow, she's pretty feisty right off the bat. Check that out. Nice hero. Are you on your third or fourth martini by now? Let me know. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, Astro, what? What happened? Oh, what are you talking about? I don't understand. Oh. Is it my breath? Oh. <laughs> I've been drinking a lot today. Just. Yeah, oh. Where you fall down? Astral. Astral. I was born in the city of the city. I was born in the city of the city. I was born the city of the city. I the city of Yeah. yeah, I hear you, hero. <laughs> I have a limit to how far I go. You know. It, if I was a, a total drunk streamer, I would change the channel to some something else. <laughs> Drunk gaming with trigger. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Cool. Alright, well, let's check her out. Let's see what, uh... Let's see what is going on with her. We do have to set up some other quest nights. Um, she might just be a quest night again, but... I don't know. Let's see. Level 8... She's got 69 agility. That's pretty good. Level 8, I'd have to say. Hit points look pretty high for that for that uh, for that class at 630 for level 8. That's really good. Um, 3DC. Okay, maybe not the greatest grower. 
but pretty good stats pretty good stats right there so maybe in the future we'll use her a little bit more I don't know like a project night I mean there's there's a lot of great project nights in this in this game it's nuts it, it's sometimes like I played the alternate chapter and it's sometimes hard to choose because there's a lot of good ones you know it's kind of hard to choose all right we got that um. Let's see what we can do with Rubino. If we get him to Crown Prince, then we're going to start using him somewhere. I don't really know where, but we'll definitely use him somewhere. Maybe we'll replace Pick? I don't know. Uh, or maybe not. Okay. More healers. <laughs> How's it going, Set7? How you doing, man? We always need more healers here, especially considering what happens in this game, you know? Especially considering the challenge that we have. We're letting them play by themselves till turn five or till turn five. And they always put the healers in the front line, so I have to buy more and more and more and more and more healers. It's unbelievable. I wish it wasn't like that, but that's, that's, you know, them's the breaks. But how's it going, dude? Uh, let's see, how are we going to fix some of this here? Let's do that. Does that work? No. I don't know. I'm trying to come up with ideas for this. It's not going too well. Okay, 39. Oh, 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 right there. That's perfect. Uh, had withdrawals this past week. Did ya? Ooh. Well. I mean, get better, man. Try, try to get better, I guess. <clears throat> I don't know what to tell you, buddy. What should we do with this? What should we do with this? We got 55, 100 points. That'd be 110 if I put 55 and 55 up there over 100. And that would be, that wouldn't work with the, you know. I, I'm back. Oh, oh yeah. Withdrawals of, of me, myself, your, your good old local trigger. Yeah, sorry, man, but uh, gotta have vacation sometimes. You know, I'm, I'm streaming almost every day uh, for almost an entire year, and uh, not really going anywhere. You know, I'm not really being able to do, to do a lot of uh, family stuff and stuff. So, you know, it's got to happen sometimes. You know, it's one of those things. Um, I think we'll put the dra we'll we'll put the snakes in here for now. If they get shot off, they get killed off. At least they became a distraction. Uh, he's just not going to do that well in there right now, and I don't want him dying right off the bat. But uh, yeah, missing the brig. Yeah, man, me too. It's uh it's been a while. Like that song. It's been a while. Oh, that that's basically the same thing. Why did I do that? Why would you do that, Trigger? Huh? Why would you ever, ever do that? Let's try this over here. 34. Ooh, great, 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 great. 30 points. So we get 30 points. We're going to get ourselves a beautiful mermaid because they're beautiful, they're hot, and they have huge tracts of land. If we can. I don't know if we can summon anything. What do we get? 34. Oh, we can't even get a dog. That is so... That sucks. All right, well, we'll do a class up here. Let's get another nightmare because, you know, we all like our nightmares, you know. We all have nightmares from time to time. And uh, in this game, we're going to have it all the time. Well, at least the enemy is. <laughs> you know. Alcoholic is someone who drinks often enough to remain addicted, while drunk is someone who drinks in great excess, but not necessarily because of addiction. Ah. That's interesting. That's an interesting way to look at it, man. Very interesting. 
some people just some people kind of scoff at you if you drink or you know this and that and then other people in, in certain families have had people that did drink too much you know I, I definitely know family members that have drank too much at certain points of time but nobody that I know particularly that was just a constant drunk in my family or anything like that but people have gotten drunk you know e even when I was younger yeah that's happened I'm sure a lot of people went through some of that too but um, yeah some people really poo poo the idea or poo poo the thing completely because of what happened in their families and so I can kind of understand but then again you know it's a free country I want to have the option to you know have a beer or have an alcoholic drink if I want to because I am of age and so I'm going to go ahead and enjoy it you know um, but if people don't want to have it you know it's their choice I'm not gonna get on their case if they don't if if they don't want to if they're uh, really really against that I'm not gonna get on their case about it what do we got here we got knights looks like we're uh, wait oh that's right yeah it can be a pretty big topic pretty big subject you know talk about oh uh, oh there's the wastelands okay good I want to center it to the, to the wastelands here because somebody has to do that so when I play this game I usually send rogues and those that can do it to the wastelands here because this questing right here oops let me get to it this quest right here this one endure wastelands is one of the best for monsters the claws the ring the light vest and the gauntlet there are so many monsters you get on your team that need to have those things it's it's one of the best questing areas for monsters and typically you have more monsters on your team than you do knights so you kind of need to go here for this and I usually send a lot of rogues or assassins here and they not usually Garland I usually send them right to uh, Gallist because Gallist has some other um, dark options as well in case you want to diversify some of that but um, that's a good place for questing just in case just in case you want to know um, let's get another I didn't quest out everybody yet did I oh no I didn't here let's do this Okay, so this one's cool because you can, like, with the grapple, you can go to Mount Madrol, or you can go to Forgotten Cliffs. Forgotten Cliffs have some pretty good stuff. So does Mount Madrol. Um, I'm not really going to be doing the assassin thing too much. I'm going to do more of the um, archer class stuff. We're going to try to we're going to try to finish up with three archers. Maybe we'll bring Rubino in the final fight. I don't know. Maybe for one of the fights we'll bring him in. But one of the fights I'm going to do all archers because I think it'll be a lot of fun to see that. If we can get, because we got Sylvie, we've got Theodora, and we got Elena, some pretty good archers right there. I think we could manage. Um, I'm trying to figure out which kind of fight it could be. If you want to let me know in the, the comments, set seven, nice hero, and uh, and carrot. Anybody else out there, you want to let me know what you'd like to see for the fights? I could change it up so one fight could have Rubino in it, the other one doesn't, you know, and we can have some fun with that. But. Um, think for here because we're gonna we're trying to get archers and they need some light gear I think they use gauntlets so let's go let's go to Mount Madrol to start I might change him later uh, dealers choice okay well I, one of the one of the fights I definitely want to have all archers the other fight is we could probably have Rubino in it and that would be cool to see you know now this place is awesome too because if you're just gonna do this you have two options for the same kind of guy to run around Plains of Garal or the Highland Snowfield this is the reason why I go to certain castles to quest instead of just randomly throwing them out there I mean if I'm at a pinch I just randomly throw them out there but once I got stuff kind of going it's like okay this is where I go and this is why I always go there if I have a berserker that's moving up to Viking I have to straight for the Viking class to run through if I don't, then I've got one of these two here, and I can kind of choose my path along that. I think we need a Durandal, so let's try to go 
here first, but this is also a really good monster place to get monster gear to. Um, but I think we get to Randall here, so let's try that. And we really just have one, one thing to look at, and then we're just going to move on and do a fight. I don't think there's anything else we have to do. 19 points left. Can I switch to get the unicorn up here to do that? Uh, I don't think that's going to work. And then Sylvie, let's get you another monster here at 196. Get out another monster in case we lose some. Let's see what good ones we can get while we're riding along here. 160. Let's do this. Do one of these and then a dog. We don't need a lot for her right now, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna focus on filling up her team because if she doesn't get used for this, we'll put her on a different team so that she does get used somewhere and uh, all right all right looks good just double check 20 points to ride on can I flip anything to make that burger that much tastier I could get 25 points over down here if I could that'd be an idea would that be 105 be 105 if I flip you up. Right? No, that's about the same. Okay, whatever. 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 It's okay. Alright, so here's what we got. We're gonna basically go and take out Shinobi. Shinobi will be done tonight before the second hour is up. I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, so you I mean just look at the power score right there. It's 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 you know it is what it is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we'll do well here. Let's push this season here. Let's go. Ah crap. We got we, we got Rudo is actually he murdered a lot of people. And he became an overlord because of that. Yeah, and I think that's that's a lot that that's true in a lot of case, uh, a lot of um, in a lot of ways too. There, there's times that I just uh, stop drinking for a while, and I, it's like I reverted to what I used to do. And growing up, I'd always have a lot of soda for whatever reason. And I know it's not the healthiest thing for you, but, you know, it's kind of like what you're kind of... Well, I was kind of raised on a lot of soda, believe it or not. So, you know, and, and I think that's also the thing is too, a lot, you have a lot of sugar, you know, it can lead to, you know, you liking alcohol later on. I think that's kind of the case. It's like you, you got something that's given you um, a lot of extra energy, and you just kind of get used to that. But yeah, I can see that. I can definitely see that. We're going to do a lot of attacks here. We kind of need to. If they don't do an attack, then we're going to be able to attack them pretty easily here. Uh, this team should have come out and attack. Uh, I'm not sure. Well, they didn't really attack anything there yet. We could just mess with them. We could mess with it. Depends on who's here. Okay, Emma and her. It's not too powerful. It's not too powerful, but they do need to level up a little bit. This would be a good opportunity for them. Let's give it a try. Just give it a try. That's all we can do. Alright, so we got this, this, this. All right, we'll save it up here. Mhm. Mm That's the thing too, like like even in my family, a lot of my my girl cousins uh, and stuff, it's 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 the same thing. They have a lot of sugar at night. It's a bunch of ice cream, cake. <laughs> it's like it's like well, it's either that or they're going to be having beer or something like that. But they, it's like, 
my family in particular, always something sweet at night. Always. Always, always, always. I gotta check something real quick. I think we're set to go. Hopefully we can finish this up tonight. I'd, I would love to see that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Alright, cool. We'll shave her up here. Wait, I think I just did that. Yep, well, the double save it has to come back, doesn't it? Alright, so we're good to go. Everybody's attacking everything in sight. We're gonna have ourselves a battle here. Gratos versus Stella. Kratos versus Stella. <sighs> Alright, who's leading the charge here? Um, no, no, no. I don't like this how, how they do this. I wish both Burgundian games would be literally center left right or center up south instead of just kind of randomly here because the first one and it goes a b c and it it juts it up to the back i wish it would go uh, more consistently here in that sense um all right grado should probably lead ariana's got some good monsters for mountains and leona also has some good monsters. this we we have the advantage here with mo with mountain monsters because we're going to be going right across that mountain right there. And I don't know if they have a defense for that. Not much. We're not really... But I thought we were the good guys. Gratos, why are you going to become a demon, dude? Come on, man. Come on, man. I'm sorry, Stella, but I'm going to have to steal your thunder here. Which I hope we can do. <laughs> I, hope the, I hope my nightmare doesn't go full front line here. I know, man. It's gonna be something. Up, oh, there we go. Nightmares frontlining, right off the bat. I've actually come to like Ginny a lot. I know his accuracy is not the greatest, but when he hits, he's a, he's a powerhouse. And you could all you really have to do with him is just make sure you you get them chained. And she's a rogue out on a mountaintop, so she'll be good up there if she stays up in those. Okay. In that area up there. Ooh, we got Stella coming out the front. I hope the developers take my some of those ideas that I, I put out there for the patch video. Especially the one where, you know, Stella, like, swims through the, uh, through the water in uh, a swimsuit or something like that. That would be cool. Especially that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. They could use a boat too. They could they could have a little boat lift her up, a little pirate boat, and then sail across to the other area where she's in the water. That would be cool to see. You know? Because like some of the reason I said that too is because she doesn't have a ranged spell attack. Every other leader has that besides Rudo, and Rudo just has like a come up, like come at you, insta kill you move. So he doesn't really need a ranged attack. He just comes out and just kills you. Rubino has a frost spell. Eliza has a frost and exoblast spell. Um, Talia has a holy word spell. She has a, a ranged attack as well. Um, Tim has a free ranged attack. Stella is the only one that does not have a ranged spell attack. So she's at a big disadvantage when she's up against other leaders because she has to go right up against them. And she's, you know, pretty vulnerable right off the bat. 
This is gonna be a good battle to watch, to believe it or not. <laughs> this is a really good one. We have all the mountain terrain advantage, and we're on the mountains here. There we go. Got another one. Okay. Oh, Stella, you got you, you got agility, but you're in the wrong terrain here. Yeah, we got our Fenrir too. Oh, Kashkok Tachimati. Sorry. No! You were supposed to miss, dude. You were supposed to miss that one. That's where you're supposed to miss, buddy. Can you believe that? Can you believe he actually hit? That is just... That is so wrong. That is so wrong. Oh! One hit KO! Boom! Yes! Yes, yes, yes. I think a Divine Ray is coming out. Right there. <laughs> I was thinking, fresh, easy kill for Grados. Right there. And it happened just like that. Rock throw with the... Oh! You hit him! No way! Unbelievable. There you go. Good shot. That's, that's definitely good. Good call. Good call. Yeah, I I was thinking, I was calling it. I'm like, he's gonna divine ray and just kill that centaur. It's so ripe for the picking. Why not? You know, why not? Oh no, they're pretty weak to that stuff, and that they've got a lot there. Can you please hit this guy? Thank you. With a crit hit, it didn't stun him. Does he have inorganic body on? He must have inorganic body on. Ginny has inorganic body on them. I don't believe it. Ragnarok, you can't escape this. Boom! Ooh, we got ourselves a very awesome looking team here. What? Oh, thank god she didn't charm him. Grados is very weak to women's charms, and we already know that. He has a lot of nosebleeds and stuff like that. Grados is the guy you would charm to get on your team. He is very susceptible. Oh, there was our Fenrir. It's gone. That's a dead Fenrir right there. Yes, please heal him. No, not him, the other guy. Oh my gosh, no, wrong heal. Wrong, bad. Bad, wrong. Necro scream. Yay! <laughs> Ragnarok. Ragnarok! It didn't kill the, the bird? Oh man, I thought it would kill that thing. We have the advantage on the mountains here, which is great. Which is great, and I'm... I'm about to... Well, no, not really. We've got to wait one more turn. Well, some cake! Yes, please. Yes, please. I'll have some more of that. Level 20. Okay, cool. Yes! Yes! Out of the way. Done. No, not the big one. Nope, the, the little ones. Do the, hit the little ones, please. Not him. Ah. Oh. Yes! Oh, 276. Not bad. Oh, saved by the bell. Boom! <laughs> I don't think they have enough healers on their team. Good stuff. Good stuff. She got hit with a hundred. Wow. It's, uh, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> Goodbye. Sorry, Ginny, but uh, yeah, I mean, 
You know, you, I'm not playing for you guys this time. I gotta, I gotta destroy you. Yeah, we got our uh, miracle monster a little bit higher. That's good. That's good. What I'm trying to say, and you've already known it, is that the Titans are my new dragons. I, I prefer to have. I would prefer to have a Titan over a dragon. More healers always, yes, absolutely, but you, you also are going to need that that spicy, spicy Titan to just do do all the damage and act like a dragon because a Ragnarok is two range attacks. I know it's not a lot, but it's enough for me. It's enough for me, man. It's no. definitely enough for me. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. They're still going. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> they're still going. <laughs> Titan healers. Oh, my gosh. The unicorn win. Light sword acquired. That was... That was that. I didn't even get to play. I didn't even get to play. And we lost a Fenrir. And what else did we lose? I think a Nightmare too. Man. I hate it when I lose Fenrirs. They're so good. Once they're into Fenrir mode, it's like they're not even going to get killed. Not unless you got Divine Rays. It's so hard to kill a Fenrir. Because they just dodge everything. Okay, she gained a proficiency there. That's quite good. Quite good. It would be cool if a Titan had a healer. You know what I found out? You can get a, a golden glove. It's called the Air Hat Fist. And you can give it the Titan and they can do move and away. So they can move in, do their attack, and then move away and reposition for like a perfect Ragnarok attack at a certain point. They can actually do that. You got I, I forgot where you get the Titan, but you can look it up though. I've got some videos where you, where I've got the uh, links down below. Where you can look it up, but you can find uh, air hat fists for the Titans. It just makes them unbelievably good. Okay, we got that done. Invasion, invasion, invasion. Yes, this is the one I want to see. Okay, this is where it gets this is where it gets rough because my guys will just start fighting like crazy and throwing rocks at things that they can't even hit. So taking over turn five is definitely gonna, you know, be very, very helpful here. Um, sure, sure, that's good. Good, good, good. All right, let's do it. She knows how to dress well. Mm -hmm. Don't you think? Very, very well. She has a kind of sophisticated elegance that is also lacking in material. Oh, you guys started it. Not me. I didn't start it. We got Titan here and... And Della. I wish you wouldn't go out there that far. Okay, thank you for not hitting her. She's completely exposed up there. This is going to be a tight battle. Toby and Della here on defense with those two big bluish, greenish, purple things there. You hit that? 
with you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he hit it with that. Or was that the regular attack? Oh, maybe it was. What are you doing? What the hell are you doing? You're just killing yourself. That's ridiculous. They send the gremlin out there. Oh my gosh. Pixie tank best tank? I don't know. Yeah, it... it... <laughs> Kapow! Yeah, that was, uh, that was exactly what happened there. Yeah, kill off my squish, please. I, I'd rather you do that than everything else. Please don't go hide in the back. Please don't go hide up back out there. That That's not where I want you. Don't run away. Don't... Oh. I'm so nervous every time she moves around and does something. Because it's like, she's always running into danger half the time. <laughs> you know? <laughs> danger, danger, Will Robinson. <laughs> she's always all by herself. Gino Thunder! Oh! Thundercats, ho! <laughs> yes! Unfortunately, you'll probably get Divine Raid. But you did get a kill, so uh, good job. Halo for her? Oh no, oh no, no, not Della with Halo. Not a, not a Halo Della. Not a Halo Kitty. Nope, not her, why, aww. Aww. More Halo spells, perfect. Yeah, that's that's what you should be doing, right? Oh no, 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 not not my top level demon, not my demoness. She she uh whispers sweet nothings to my ear at night. I, I don't want you killing her off. Actually, maybe you can. She they're, they're not very good sweet nothings. She is a demon after all, you know. Okay. Oh, poor, poor demon thingy. Poor, poor little squish master dude. Whatever you're. Oh my gosh, you. What? Wow. Dude, wow. Look at that. This is why Pick is just so vulnerable. If you want a really good Project Knight to work on that, that that is really difficult to work with, Pick is the guy. He definitely is. He he dies so fast. That was a good call. I don't mind that. Phoenix can handle that stuff. Phoenix can definitely handle that. Please hit. Yes! No more Divine Rays. Thank you. No need that. And she runs all the way back up into more danger. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Yes, please hit him. Oh, thank you. Thank you for moving up there instead of doing rock throw. Oh. Okay. This is looking a little bit better. <laughs> a little tiny bit better. What do I get to go? Right after this? Oh, good, good, good. No, no. No more hurts. No more hurts. Thundercats, ho! Oh. oh, do you have to do this every time, seriously? Cool. Alright, here we go. Time to go to work. Time to go to work, boys and girls. What do we got to work with here? We've got this, we've got this. Let's see what we got here. We got. Well, I can't really move him anywhere. Mm -hmm. Let's just do the best thing we can do. I'm trying to kill this thing here. out 
いいわやってあげるどれだけ healers ですか Let's just look at that real quick here. Nothing. A full boat. You're probably. Okay, so you're spent, and that was foolish to do all that. They do all these foolish moves like that. It's, it, it's kind of funny. Oh, I don't have range. Let's go get some range. Nope, not there. Good stuff. I know AI is just so weird about things, you know? Oh man, oh I'm gonna be way too low. I can't I can't do anything with this guy really. I really can't. This thing's gonna. And what sucks is this thing's gonna swim all the way over here. Or maybe it won't. No, the Pegasus is gonna dive in here and do a dive bomb attack on me, isn't he? Let's do this. Just to keep it a little bit more alive. See, look at this. 51 to 0% chance. Oh my gosh. And my own AI would attempt that attack too. They would definitely try. I know for, I know for certain they would be like, yeah, that's a great opportunity. Perfect. Okay, what we need to do... I think we need to pop a weakness on him. I mean, he's not really the big target here, but I think it would help us out. I don't want to lose my dragon right now. He needs it. It's important for him. I'm going to get him out into the fight. He's just going to cover the guard. He's just going to guard the flank for now. I don't really care about what else he does. Uh, let's see if we can do... Let's see what we can do. Okay. Um, if we can kill this thing off, that would make our lives that much easier. Honestly, the dragon's a little annoying, but this is going to be way worse in this situation overall. I think this would be a lot harder to deal with. 6% uh, chance. That sucks. That really sucks. みんな行くわよ。何も。
今こそ我がノーザリオのためにみんなのもの。He's never gonna be able to hit her either. It's just no. He's never gonna be able to do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, can I get around to get a good solid hit here? What does she have left for MP? She can't divine ray me, which makes me feel very very happy. That's kind of what I want to do. Uh, what else is a good idea here? To be very, very quiet. We hunt and wab it. There we go. Now I'm a lot happier now. That is going to be... That would have been such a pain. Would have been such a pain. To have to deal with those things on her final castle when her assaulting her from, you know, so far away and all this and all that. Here, let's move forward. I want to try healing the red dragon here if we can. I think that's going to be important. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to give him a good somehow. Oh, that sucks. I don't have enough. I think she moved out of the way of my breath. I was lining up for that breath attack there. He still has a heal. Mm. I'm kind of tapped out with this guy, too. Nope, nope, nope. We gotta heal him up. Um. Ima koso. Good job, good job, dude. Okay, we got a good hit there. Uh, let's just come over here to play some a little bit of D for Pick here, because Pick could get hit pretty hard. I know that, you know, that could happen too, but, you know... All right, Toby is definitely chained pretty good. I think we should take out Toby right now. Is this dragon to deal with? Level 10 dragon, maybe we'll kill this thing off first. Come 
Can I breath through? Yes, I can breath through there. That's good. That's good. Okay, Toby got hit. Let's wait there. Thirty-five percent chance? Hell no. Hell no. Point it at the right guy, please. Thank you. Dark breath. We could go that way, but we have to try to take out Toby. I know I'm hitting a couple of my characters. They won't get well. We'll get kind of hurt, but not too bad. We are getting a kill, and we're hitting Toby. He's down to seventy-two. Pick has enough for another Enemy bolt fire. attack. Oh, wow. We, what are we going to do? I love how he just regens. He, oh, yeah. he just regens MP all the time with Elena route. That's that's so good. And now. Wait, is she hurt at all? Or should I hurt her or just do area heal? Uh, area heal could be a good thing. I don't even think she's hurt at all. She's not even hurt at all. Oh man, I really want to do a really want to do a flame attack, but you know everybody does kind of need to heal here. It would be a good thing. I can't beat her. <laughs> I can't beat Tala, Dala, or Della. Let's just let's let's be honest about this. She's gonna have like 100% evasion like the whole time. I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna try. Okay, good. We got we got that done. We got that done. So yeah, uh, we can't even beat her, man. Why do you even let me try? Unless I surround her. Six percent. No, thank you. If you let the AI do it, they'll just continue to do that all day. They'll constantly try to attack with no good percentage to hit. Consistently, over and over and over again. You know, for her being this big of a target, why is it so hard to hit her? She's a pretty big target. Okay, well, I was hoping to get this all finished up, but uh, kind of forgot about all those other attacks I have to do to keep the ball rolling. So, yeah, we'll get some of Shinobi taken care of tonight. At least, we'll get some of it taken care of. I hope this other team will work out pretty well, too. What are you sipping on? What are you sipping on? <laughs> I have myself a local local brewed beer here. That's what I've got. It's pretty good. Pretty good one. I like it. And I've got I always put a lime in it. Actually, limes and lemons are actually really good uh, with certain beers. Not all of them, but certain ones are pretty good. 
Okay, I think Brendan, uh, Chu, and Theodora. Theodora can run up the the force pretty good, so she can be in the back. But yeah, it's a local brew. It's a pretty good one. What do you think of this guy's armor? I think he has one of the coolest looking armor pieces. If I was wearing an armor piece, I would want those giant spikes on my shoulder pads, you know? That just... It's boss. If someone, like, falls into you, it's like they could fall into your spikes. It'll be like, oh! <laughs> they try to hit you, they deflect off the spikes, and the sword flies upward. Just from... Just from a, a fighting stance, I mean, this guy. Just from a fighting stance, this guy, if you try to attack his head and he's got a shield, he should have a helmet on, but if you try to attack his head and you hit the spikes, the sword will hit it, deflect, and fly upwards over the head, completely missing him. And if he, if he decided to run into someone like a football player, he could spike two people on impact. I mean, this guy, that's the boss. That is some boss looking armor right there. Alright, we'll let them uh, go have fun. Yes. We'll see you in. Uh, uh, in we'll see you in five. <laughs> we'll see you in five there. Yeah, it's a, some pretty good local beers. I, I like. I like some simple stuff, really. You know? Stamp a platinum! <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll get to Wands or Wednesdays on Wednesday, man. Uh, tomorrow, if I can get this other game to play, I might play a King of Seas or something like that. It's just, it's a new game that came out, and it looked interesting to me, so I'm gonna kind of give it a shot. Wow, why is, why is her team, like, way out there? Oh my gosh, no. No, not you. Not you. Anyone but... She's gonna get so hurt bad. Oh my gosh. And that's stupid thing too. And that's stupid thing too. Oh man, she's dead. She just flew out there. Chew. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? You got yourself killed. All that wasted effort. Now I got two guys I have to go out there and fight. Please don't get yourself killed. That's that's not what I asked. <laughs> You're doing the, the exact wrong thing that I asked. <laughs> oh, thank you for thank you for covering him. Thank you for putting my angel on the front lines. <laughs> maybe I'll just say thank you for everything. Just. So maybe it'll turn around and become a little better. Thank you for putting all the squish in the front lines. I really enjoyed it. Oh, you're gonna move away? And you paralyze them too? Thank you for that too. I needed that. I need a good slap in the face to know how bad my team was playing right now. Oh no, not another flame spell. Oh, and oh, oh. Oh. Oh, uh, turn five. Whew. Phew. I actually get to do something here. Hopefully we can maybe get a win out of this. Yes. We'll see. Alright, how are we gonna play this? We only got we got two V three here. And everybody's back here, like everybody. Nope, go to these guys. They need to get up there first. That's that's what's important here. Not her. Another thing I'd like the, the developers to do is to change the script so that it goes whoever's in target slot number one gets picked number one when I press R1. And then if it's on the, if I want to go backwards, I press L1 to pick whoever was in the slot at the end. Uh, just so that it's like very consistent with that. And it would be, it would make me very happy actually. Make me super, super happy. 
Okay, we need to block you a little bit. I need to get some... Some something here. Let's go here. Yes. There we go. Yes. Good stuff. Number 23. Brendan is no I'll longer paralyzed. I like that. Move, buddy. Move, move, move. Uh, where to go here? Let's go. There we go. There we go. Good stuff. Good job. Good job, buddy. Good job. Okay, you stay there. Please don't die. <laughs> Whatever you do, <laughs> try not to die. I would let, I would enjoy that. Um, I like these loop heals, especially if we got somebody that already has a lot of hit points. It actually counts as a heal and a half if they run their course. So this might be okay for him for now. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, wow, look at all that. That is a lot of extra stuff coming to them, you know? Too many things. Alright, are we safe here? Well... Not completely, but you know what? Whatever. We'll be okay right there. A thousand arrows. I love it. I love it. Unfortunately, I hit my own guys, which kind of sucks. All right, Theodore, we're going to level you up right quick. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Thunder you up. Move in there. Shoot this guy. And we'll be golden. We'll be absolutely golden. Yes. I don't know if she has the hit and move thing, so I'm just going to move her here and shoot. Nope. 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 Yes. <laughs> right in your face. Put you down. Let's get this over here. Uh, I don't know if I want him there, but I don't think we have a choice in the matter. So, let's think about what you said about learning from losing. My mindset is that you become whatever overcomes you, so you... So a battle is when you gain small victories over someone and become more like you. They gain small victories over you and you become more like them. It's a flow of energy back and forth until someone claims victory, so you become closer to something that has defeated you when you lose. That's an interesting uh, point on it. Uh, typically when I when I see stuff like that it's uh, personally for me it's like um, you're you're gaining the introspective as to what you did wrong so you don't you know repeat the mistake again because you know if it was a mistake then you can learn from it but if it wasn't a mistake you could learn to try a different uh, perspective or a different way of uh, thinking as far as that concern but especially like even when I played chess when I was younger if I if if I did a move that you know because there's some moves like there's one move in the beginning and you can beat someone in like three turns three or four turns and if you don't know that move they could pull it off on you each and every time there's there's one piece you move to guard from it and after that 
you know, nobody else can beat you like that anymore. But, you know, definitely there's there's some starting positions with, like, certain games where they're all, like, pretty much set in a particular way um, that if you don't, if you don't learn you. from, you know, your mistakes or what you've done, uh, it, it's like, what is that saying? You, you're, you're doomed to repeat the mistakes again if you don't learn from it the first time. What is, what is that, uh... What is that quote? There's a quote. I'm trying to remember it. I can't. I'm just thinking about thinking about playing this game right now. <laughs> a little distracted with that, but yeah. Yeah, you may, you may, you make a interesting point there, man. Why do they have all these phoenixes on their team? I don't get it. Shinobi should not have this many phoenixes. Honestly, they really shouldn't. Okay, we're just going to try to kill it off. I'm going to kill off a couple of their good strong monsters and just push in there and fight like there's, you know, no tomorrow, stuff like that. Skill, holy impulse, free attacks. Yes, please. You're kidding me. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I can uh, kind of understand there is a little bit of an ebb and flow to it. You know, because the fact is like you, you if you keep winning all the time the same way, you're you're just you're just gonna play that particular style all the time, you know, because that's the way it works. You know, like even Triss said, you know. Weak people lose, that's the way the world works. Even Drist will say that in Grand Edition. Um, but even Drist was excited when he was losing because it was something new to him. Like, he's he hasn't experienced it before, you know? It's like, whoa, I'm really in a pickle, you know, I'm really in trouble here. <laughs> this is exciting. You know, uh, some, it, it could be something like that, like, you gain an experience from doing something you're typically not used to and uh, for better or for worse you know sometimes you have to learn some things too you know because sometimes you don't really let's say you're doing something like let's just use burgundine as the example here because obviously we're doing it right now but let's just say you know you're you're not um you're not used to playing this particular team or something like that and then you play the team and you lose you know you're you're gonna gain introspective as to like what went wrong or ideas as to why things went wrong right so it's you're you're gonna get a better understanding of like Pretty much everything, really, you know? Yes. Ooh, that's a pretty good chunk. 114, will that do... No, I can't do that twice. It wouldn't work twice. Alright, we're getting rid of the Phoenix here. That has got to go. That has got to go. I'm not letting Shinobi keep a Phoenix on our team because I'm coming in here with greens myself and I don't want to lose them due to uh, that kind of shenanigans. We cannot have that. That'd be very bad. And I'd feel very bad. Okay, I don't know if we can kill him here, but whatever. We're getting very close. <laughs> We're getting very close. Let's see. Uh, do I need to do a Giga Impact instead? I really want to do the other thingy. Won't even kill him. Let's just do Thousand Arrows. At least I'll hit a lot of people like this. This will be great. Look at that. I hit most of their good team there. Beautiful. Alright, let's come forward. I don't know if he'll ever get in a battle, but whatever. Heal up. Brendan over here because he's going to need it, obviously. Oh, 
Okay, so after this, after we get done with these uh, attacks and and all that, we're probably going to go on to the next game. We'll have some fun with that. Oh, this will be great. We're going to have a Knights of Trigaria night. It'll be a lot of fun. We're going to be playing Grand Edition after this. So, get ready for that. That was some good experience. <laughs> 2,900 right there. Come on, Brandon, buddy. You can do this, bro. You can do this, bro. You can do this, bro. You're, you're not that good. You're getting there, but you're just... You're just not there, laddie. Man, that sucks. Skills? I thought, no. Do the thing that I want you to do. <laughs> do the thing that it is that I told you to do beforehand. <laughs> no, not my squish. He's going to kill all my squish. I don't want him to do that. Please don't do that. Please. Please. Ooh. Okay. I don't mind him. Oh, uh, well. You know. He tried. Okay. Do we have... Nope. You are... Your tank is... Completely dry. So let's just go there. Um, I could. We could trap him. Not enough for Frost. She's not strong enough to take him on. But I think we could probably play a. Uh, I don't know if we can even really play a blocking move with her. Let's get her close to the water. Maybe. We could do something that way. I don't even know what we're going to do with that, honestly. Mm. Let's go... Huh. Gonna shoot him in the face. <laughs> Desperate times require... What was that again? Something about measures? Something like that? Ooh. We got kind of lucky in there. I probably should have just done a breath attack, honestly. But I want to get as much damage as him as I can because he's just kind of floating around. He's got that extra monster here too. We're we're coming off with fifties, fifty nines, and forty seven percent chance. So so far so good. Should I heal up there, or I'll just go here? Okay, Brendan, you're Brendan's looking pretty good right here. I'm I'm just gonna leave him here. Just gonna do this. That should be good enough. Yep, you gotta go return to nature. Return what you borrowed. Air heal? Yeah. I should have done an air heal. There we go. There we go. Oh I think we got this win here. We took out one leader. This guy's on death's door. If he stays, he's dead. You can do it if you want. I'm still going to take you down. Still going to take you down, dude. 
You can try. I'm, it's not gonna work. <laughs> it's definitely, definitely not going to work. I've already got an auto heal on him. Yes. How well of accuracy does she have? Uh, she couldn't kill him anyways, so why bother? Let's move her... Let's get her in the water. You know, mermaids like the water, they like to splash around and stuff. Just wait right there, little buddy. We need a good heal here. That's why the loop heal... I gotta tell you, if you want to play this game a little more strategic, a little more strategically well, uh, even if you're dragon or whatever, you got in the front lines, got hit once or twice, a loop heal might be better because they don't try to hit them too much. Sometimes they do, but they can handle a lot of damage, and then the loop heal will count for a heal and a half. So as you go through the battle, it'll almost be like nothing really happened to them until they start focusing on him, you know, after a while. At least to me it seems like this is kind of a, a great idea, but you can let me know if you if you think I'm wrong on that. I think so far that's that's like sort of my go-to what I kind of want to do, you know? I mean if they're at death's door definitely a heal is gonna be better, but or at like half, like I would say, if they're halfway, a heal would be better. But if they're they're at you know 75% health, a loop heal's best because if they're frontlining, they get a hit here and there, and they do a little loop heal every single time. It seems to be the best way to do it because then they might actually, if they stop getting hit, they might heal up all the way by the time you even know it. Yes. Look at that, we got a sea serpent with one kill. I think it was like a level level two sea serpent. <laughs> Keep coming forward, little buddy. You're gonna get there. You're gonna get there. Seven percent. Seven percent. Oh, you couldn't hit seven percent. Oh, that sucks. Oh well. We tried. <laughs> we really, really. Well, yeah, we we kind of tried, didn't we? I think we tried. Let's see here. Fifty-five percent. Can we get this guy gone? Well, he can't hurt me too bad. He really can't. Honestly, he really can't. Oh, uh, what do we got here? Airy heal? I could do that. Let's come forward. Let's do a group hug here. I can't believe you're staying, dude. I am so impressed. I am so impressed. That that's That's nuts. He's like, nobody can touch me. I'm going to be invincible forever. Forever and ever and ever and, and ever and, and ever. Are you, little buddy? Let, we'll see about that. 70%. I don't even need that. Just do the basics here. There we go. We got his banana sword. Good stuff. Ah, oh, poor Sid. Sorry, Sid. I have to take your homeland away from you. It's for justice, though. It's for justice. This is why we're here. It's the only reason. We have to give them justice. We were fighting for freedom last time. This time we're fighting for justice. You know, that's the point. They don't, they don't understand the point. We'll give them the point. They'll get the point. It's all about the justice. They don't have justice. See, they got the freedom, but if you have too many freedoms, you kind of do all kinds of crazy stuff. So that's why this time we had to play for justice because, you know, you have too many freedoms. You know, you can do all kinds of stuff to all kinds of people, and then there's no justice there. So now we're fighting for justice, right? Kind of makes sense. Kind of, sort of. <laughs> okay, we're, we're pretty close. Yeah, I think I'm going to call the video here. 
Um, I don't know if we have another battle or whatever. I don't think we have any more battles, though. Oh, wait, we have a little battle, don't we? We have a little battle, don't we? Or maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we'll just do some more organize or something. Oh, we do have this little battle here. Okay, we'll watch this and then we'll close up the video after that, you know? There's also an aspect of will, breaking your will against your opponents and having them break their to each of you, reforming and crashing against the other. Yeah, it is sort of like a, a meshing of minds in a way. Definitely can agree to that. Um, we're going to put Shu Fen front so that she gets surrounded by Jack and Farrick. I think that'd be a good way to do it here. I think the developers changed something from the beginning because I remember pressing like click, 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 click really fast and then it would only send out two knights. I'm like, but why? <laughs> Shouldn't it send all three knights out? Click, 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 send them all. I think they did fix that. This will be a very fast battle though. They only have two knights here. They just send. They actually got to attack the other castle before I was attacking them, and I've got a higher CP value. I gotta know, guys, guys and gals, how did they get to attack the free castle that I have when I'm coming in with this army here against them? I should be able to attack them first, and then if they had anything left, they should be able to attack that other castle. I don't get how they were able to, to pull that off. I don't know if they had a higher CP value as a whole as that other team, but they're attacking an empty castle. I don't know. I like honey mustard too. Good job. They always keep telling me they like honey mustard. I love it too. It's really good. Very tasty. I don't know if you like honey mustard, but I definitely like honey mustard. Very good stuff. Yeah, the whole thing with, uh, you know, but that's that's the truth of the matter. You you really don't learn a lot if you just win. Or you you know how to keep winning, but if you lose, you've learned that there's a tactic that can beat that tactic, and you have to reformalize uh, things that you thought of before to to counter it. You know. That's why I like to do a lot of tactical stuff, because, you know, it's, it's always engaging with the mind. You know, it's, it always is. Yeah, this team needs some levels there. We heard, we're in knight status here. She's still in min, minstrel, min, uh, minstrel status there. We need to level this team up. This team needs to level up, so I'm just going to have this team go back and forth and play some defense levels. I think that's best. Hopefully they'll be okay in the time being while we're crushing Shinobi at the time. Might be able to do it, you know, in time, because this team, I was hoping to get some more levels and be a little bit higher, but it kind of got left behind. You know, it's, it's the team that got left behind behind in time. <laughs> we didn't really get to do much of that. He's going to be a really good barbarian if we could get him up there. I think he'll be a fantastic viking if we could get him up there. Is this still your struggle for justice? Avemo, there is no end to the world here until we get our justice. Like I said, we just we just beat the game with Shinobi, we got them all the freedom they wanted, but now they have too much freedom and they don't have enough justice. So people are doing whatever they want to each other without any justice, and it's chaos. 
So we're playing for Norzalia. We're going to give them all the justice they need. Maybe too much justice. We might turn it into a police world. State thingy. I don't know. Hopefully not. But, you know, we have to get the most amount of justice possible. I don't know when that'll actually be. But it could be at some point in the future, you know. For justice! Thank you. Thank you for that, Amo. <laughs> we, we needed that. <laughs> I was just going to mention something about that. <laughs> See, he's got a flame spell. You didn't know that. Well, maybe he did, but... We put him into the mage class real quick, so he, so he can do a random flame spell sometimes. You know, for fun, I might just let them, you know, see what they can do for this battle. Because it's, it's going pretty well, honestly. It's going pretty well. Yeah, how's it going, Avo? Thanks for coming by. And everybody else that's here that's just kind of silently watching, trying to understand what's going on. Ooh, that sucks. I wanna see I wanna see if the AI is like fully trustworthy of can I can I can I do this without getting the rest of my monsters killed here? Can they do it? Can we go flawless here? One forty five from a hot dog? Not even a hot dog, just a regular dog. That thing got one forty five? Oh, it's level ten? Oh okay. That makes sense. I was I was just thinking it was like a level level two or something like that. Um, not really what I wanted you to do. You're, you're gonna get him. You're, uh, you're gonna get him killed. So, oh. Okay, can't really go flawless. But that's that's pretty much it. And it would have been my turn. I don't really get to do anything there. Blood has once again been spilled in land here. She is so protective. But she's a good kid. Got a sea serpent. We, dude, Avemo, we lost a Fenrir. We lost a hot dog. This is what we keep losing. We, we just had a Fenrir in our grasp. We went to fight Stella, and she killed it off. It was just about to be a Fenrir. Jack went up level, good. Got that thingy. Got colors for that. Uh, if you want to help... What, chat, what do you say for the element for this team here? For the elemental? We have five different choices. Blue, red, green, white, and purple. Or black. Whichever one you want to call it. It's called it purple here, so I could call it purple if I wanted to. Uh, but this team's going to be on guard duty for the island section here. And also up there too. So we're going to pull it back to Garwin. It's going to be like a more water guard duty in a, in a way. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. <laughs> oh, crap, they actually did get in. No! No! Oh no. We're losing all our territories. We're going to have to get them back. We are going to have to get them back. ちょ。グラドス将軍。シズラ殿。皆のおかげで。ようやく御報告できるまでに兵を進めることができました。賛成を。さどこし。もう<笑> Ima 
この目で見たいものでございます残念ながら本日はで王を我が王を殺めた者を特定できておりませぬこと誠にもって。何を言うのです将軍父王は誰かの手にかかったものなのかそれとも天命であったのかそれはもうこの私にはどちらでもいいことです<笑>我が父王はもはやいないしかしこのルビーノにとってはいつまでもそばにいる父王はずっとずっと私のそばにピタリと寄り添っていてくださるだからだから<笑> Now he's ready to be crowned. そして多くの民にダウンを与えただがそのダウンも我らルーンの騎士が鋼の衣となって守らなければ風前の灯火となってしまうだろう父を我らの正義のブリガンダインそれがこのルーナジアの真の正義を取り戻すまで今しばらくお力をお貸しください There we go. There we go. He actually had to learn through the, the pain of the past to finally become a man. And now we can use him. Now we can use him for something good here. I mean, we could have used him before, but I'd rather have him have, you know, some good stuff to be able to utilize here. Maximilian got a knight. Great. Okay, I'd like him to fight through Shinobi right now, but he is weak to green, so I don't know if we should do that. I think we'll put him on the other team that is our defensive post. Oh, yes, that's who I wanted to get for this one. Yes, Yuri. Yes, finally. Mm. I really like Sylvie, but I think I don't know why. I I just kind of like Yuri for uh, an archer here. Oh, <laughs> This is what I wanted to do. I wanted to get an archer team set up. Oh, uh, yeah. Perfect. 
perfect, perfect. Okay, so we have a lot to think about here, but we've already gone pretty long with the stream here. So, um, yeah, we're gonna need somebody over here temporarily. Probably, I, th I think so. Well, they don't have anybody that really to fight right now. They could move some monsters around. Maybe they won't fight at all. You know what? I think we could use Urbino. I think it'd be okay. Temporarily, we'll just use Urbino. I also want Yuri there. Hmm. Tough decision. I think we'll use Yuri here instead. One seventy-five. Let's do a class up here. Let's see what we can class up into. Um, we're up against. We're going to be up against Stella and Rudo. So Stella has blue, red. Rudo has mostly white. A flame dragon could work, or a frost dragon might be best because we're, we'll be up against Vikings who are red and still is blue and won't really have much that will be weak to it except for Shinobi temporarily. So as long as the frost dragon can get through Shinobi, I think that should be good. Okay, 150, 150. Get a couple of these guys. Make 120, we need 30 points more. Oh, that's a terrible one. That is terrible. We'll take it, we'll use it. It might die. <laughs> Hey, Pringer. Hey, how you doing, man? Yes, vacation was very good. Oh, man, needed it. Needed it badly. Very good vacay. So this week we're going to be starting up our player multiplayer again. And uh, we're going to get a lot of stuff done. It'll be good. It'll be fun. Um, Just got to figure things out. I think what I want to do is I want to use Theodora, Yuri, Elena, and Rubino in the last fight. So I'm going to use four knights. So I'm going to have to level them up all the way, hopefully. Hopefully we can get them all the way leveled up. If not, we'll just we'll use them as is. Uh, and we'll see what we can do for that, you know. 2020 multiplayer likes kind of toxic. Ooh, uh-oh. Um... You you watch the whole 2020 multiplayer? Yeah, we we gotta we gotta set some uh, we gotta set some stuff up for that. You know, we gotta work on a few things. But um, we're gonna set up uh, some interesting rules. I actually have an idea for uh, in between. There will be an in between multiplayer that will count in a different kind of style for points because of how it's gonna get set up. It's gonna be like. I'd have to explain, it's pretty complicated, but pretty much every single turn we fight, a player will get to play. Offense or defense, but it'll be random. You could play for a team that you're next, next uh, month you're playing against. So it, it'll go completely random, and the game will end whenever there's one country left, and nobody's going to know who's what that country will be. So it's going to be set up, the AI will organize, and they will set the attacks too. Uh, so we'll set that up, but that won't be counted for points overall because I can't count complete randomness as a whole game thing, but that would be a, a fun in-between thing that I could set up that we could get players to play like immediately, and uh, that would be a lot of fun. But um, 85, I don't have an extra 5 point there, so I'm just going to... Ooh, we got a... Perfect. Perfect. But yeah, as far as like 
setting things up and talking about what we're going to do and how things are going to run. It's going to run the way it's going to run. That's the whole reason I have these things, you know, these meetings beforehand. And if you are playing with me, you are a part of that. And uh, when we set up these meetings, you know, you can look this up. A Viking thing is a, a meeting, you know, that you have. Once we have it set up and all the rules are established, it's go time. If it wasn't uh, described in the thing as to what you can't do, it is allowable. And uh, that's what we have set up. But we'll put her here. They're just going to have to play defense because I can't, I can't push in there to any more. Uh, let's check out this team right here. Oh my gosh, it's almost a complete wipe. Look at this. Look at that. Hunter. Sniper. But as far as people, you know, playing with me and all that, I'm trying to get it into a good vibe and all that. But some people get upset over little things, and sometimes I can't help that. But we're trying to, you know, make it as friendly as possible as friendly as possible but that's the thing we got to work on some stuff and uh, you know make sure it's all sorted out you know all right all right pick survived once we put another player in here I think I'm gonna put Yuri in here once we get down to like once we have defense of some things then I'm gonna have a main team set up as Rubino with archers, or Rubino with somebody else and a, a full archer team, and we're trying to just level just that up. Just that. It could be a lot of fun. You know? Oh, with the uh, the next uh, the next little in-between multiplayer we'll do, we could do it, uh... We could do a national multiplayer, but it's gonna be, um... It's going to be interesting. I'll have to talk to you about it. But as far as... Everything is concerned... Yeah, I'll have to talk to you about it. It'll be interesting, though. Okay, I think that's all I can do here. Let's uh, 165. We'll do a summon here. 165. That's 140, and that's another. There we go. Yeah, we have to sort this, some things out. Yeah, get things set up in a right and good, good fashion. You know. I don't really want to bring these guys, but whatever. They're gonna help me with this. They're gonna help me trudge through this terrain here. They can be good, but when I'm doing this auto thing, a lot of times they just sit back and throw needles, and they don't go up and tank. They're supposed to go and tank. That's what I want them to do. You know, I don't want all my other guys getting, you know, getting shot and all that. Okay. All right. Anybody have any ideas here? What you'd like to see? Let me know. Oh, man. I don't think we can get it. It's too close. It's too close. We'll have to get it next time. And it won't live that long anyways. Alright. 40 points. What can we get? Ah. Get another one of these little squishy guys here. Like that. That one's actually not that squishy. Okay. 
Okay, we've got level 2, level 4, Berserker. The reason I'm saying he's good as Berserker is because he's got accuracy up from being an expert monk. So that's the reason why I think Farrakh is an awesome Berserker. He gets a little accuracy bonus right off the bat. And his agility is not bad. It's not terrible. It's not great. But it's better than a lot of people in, in some ways. And um, it's pretty good. Good hit point growth. I think he's, you know, one of the better ones as far as, like, leveling up Berserker goes. All right. So let's move you guys back. We need some defense back here. I honestly don't care. I really honestly don't care too much if they actually eat some of this territory and move in through the back. I will fight my way back out. And that's okay because I actually like the the experience to get extra extra experience. I like to milk the time as much as I can to get as much experience as possible. So I really don't mind that. Um, as far as like another team goes, uh, this team is... I don't know what we're going to do here. We are kind of... We're kind of exposed. I think we're going to have to pull back. I think we have to pull back. Look at all this growth leveling here. Oh my gosh. No, not release. <laughs> no. <laughs> this goes here. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's do that. Shadow Gabi. Good stuff. All right, good. Get me back. This team is definitely going to be. This team is definitely going to be a lot better. You can just tell right here. We've got our Mithril Golem right there. Perfect. We've got so many levels up. Wow. Cyclops. And is that it? Yep, I'm just keeping her as that. She's rogue with that. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, 65. We're gonna... I don't know what we're gonna do. Eighty one boom fifty five well I kinda want kinda want that healer on her team. Fifty. Let's do this. And a hundred and five. Let's go ahead and get some of that stuff there. Hundred and five. Hundred and five. Right there. Perfect. Love it. Let's do that. One rock and one big dude. Okay, we did that, but we have to defend our back line here. That's important. If they fight into here, I'll just have this team fight back out and it should be good you know should be totally fine uh if they fight back up into here i'll just go back and forth ping ponging back and forth with this team here i think rubino is going to have to come over here too because we're going to probably need him i don't know i'd like to level up jack but i think i'm having a lot of fun with ferric right now so i think we'll just work with ferric her and rubino for a team to play some defense uh let's send him over there then Oh, and she's standby. We didn't even do anything with her yet. Okay, let's uh, push you over here, buddy. That'll be fine. I think there's... I think there's a straight over here. We can send her to over there. Uh, we got that set. We got that set. We got that set. We got... I'd like to level that up, but I can't really do much with that. We got that set. All right, we got everything set. I don't think there's anything left to do. Does Rubino need extra monsters here? No, no, no. Okay, end phase. Set the attacks, and then we'll we'll get back to this on Friday. 
So we're going to get back to this on Friday. That should be fine. There's really not much left here. I could probably just hit this with two teams and then send this other team somewhere else. So this team of archers, I think we're going to get them a little more aggressive next time. But this team is probably just going to eat up all of the rest here. Because they can. Hopefully that'll work out in our favor in a lot of ways. This, These two teams can't attack. That team can. This team... This team could... We could just finish it off. Honestly, we could just finish it off, finish it up. But I get the other archer that I want to level up, and I won't be able to do that. They have Matthias on their team, which is kind of funny. Um, and that's all we can really do next time. I, I thought we were going to finish off Shinobi tonight, but we really... We got close. We got very, very close, but... Because I want to level up the other archer... I really can't right now. I could, but uh, we're going to go play some Grand Edition here. It's going to be some Knights of Tregaria. So all you subs out there, come by and uh, we'll have some fun. So far, Nuomechia is in the lead, and yeah, they're definitely in the lead. If you want to change that, it's your choice <laughs> to help out. But um, we'll come back next time. We're going to take over the Shinobi here. So if I could get my circle thingy here, we're going to basically take out Shinobi here. Shinobi will be gone. And then we're going to basically start off fighting back towards this area here, pushing in through here. We're going to try to lock up some territory here just to play some defense. And then we might send our archer team up through here and then try to you know, backtrack and maybe take some of this stuff back as well, because why not? And uh, at that point, I'm just essentially just going to be leveling up Rubino with uh, Shizzler and somebody else. And the whole Archer team is, we're just going to see a whole Archer team just going <laughs> with Yuri. Uh, oh, what's her name again? The other, the other Norzalia chick and Elena. Theodora, I think is her name. Unless I got that wrong. But uh, yeah, essentially this is what we're going to see next time. So thanks everybody for being here on YouTube. You know, Thanks for all the subscribes and all the likes. It does help the channel grow. Please continue to do that. And um, yeah. So those that are on Twitch here, you're going to see the stream go down for half a second. And it'll come back up. But those on YouTube, this is the end of the video. So I'm going to showcase a little intermission screen here and the video is going to end. So if you're watching on YouTube, you can definitely leave me some comments. I'll get back to you on some of the videos here. You can let me know what you like for Norzalia. What what teams would you like to see uh, in the future if we do Norzalia in the future? Let me know in the comments down below. But, all right, let's go to intermission, Twitch. It will, the stream will end for a second and it will restart. So if you don't see anything, just uh, just reload or something, I guess. All right.